Okay, uh, a number of people have asked over the past year or two how I pack my Pelican case. And uh, I've changed it a little bit, but I always have excess room for tons of stuff, so clothes or whatever. So I'm going to do this video and I guess leave it up. Um, I always start out first with the most awkward and the biggest pieces. So usually that's my spotting scope and the limbs themselves because they're curved. So here's two sets of limbs and my spotting scope. So I'm going to set that in first. Then I take my angel quiver. You may have a field quiver or a smaller one. I usually take the belt out and I take the top pouch off. It just snaps on and off. And it can go right in here, just like this. Next is my tripod. Here's my Monfrotto tripod with a pistol grip. It's fairly large, heavy duty. Usually what I do is I take this part apart so it makes it a little easier, but I have also just packed it where it was just all one piece and went in straight. This goes in like this, this goes in here. Next are my arrows. I don't really use an arrow tube. Uh, I haven't found really that uh, any damage was done to them. Here's two dozen arrows. Usually I have them rubber banded by the, the each dozen together. And uh, I find that usually once they're slotted in and covered with stuff, they don't really move. The fletchies don't get damaged. The next thing that I do is uh, the stabilizers. Mine are 30 inch. Uh, I don't use an extension. The sleeves you can use or not. Most of the time I usually don't use the sleeves because it's just extra stuff for me to keep up with. I don't really care if my stabilizers get a nick or a scratch. But I slide those in all the way right here. Next are my side rods. These are 12 inch side rods. Uh, same thing. Uh, you can use the sleeves or not. It's not going to really matter that much. And I slot those in. This is a little fit right along in here. There. Now, uh, the next thing that I do usually is I start using my uh, toolbox utilities. I have several of them. I have a little one that holds plungers and sight apertures, and I have a Velcro on the bottom so that it sticks in and stays. Uh, I have a larger box that holds everything from tape to arrow lube, and then usually. I have also I have a box that's this size that can go right in here depending on whether I'm going to be gone for a while. I think I need a whole setup for the fledge or not. Uh, for most of the time I don't. So then I put this goes right here, like this, this, and this. My sights. I don't usually case them. They're milled aluminum. Nothing wrong with. They don't really get dinged up. My bow stands go here and. My belt, my doinkers. I mean, you can you can put them anywhere. You can come down here and wedge them in places where they're going to be at the bottom, wherever that you want. Any little hole. There's a uh, two arm guards, my bow stringer, sling, spare string. Usually, I keep several, but. A couple of tools, uh, pliers, they go in as well. My T square, all the slots in on the bottom. Arrow puller, another little fletching box. Put my chest protectors, I carry two. I don't know, I guess I'm just overly cautious. Now, then my risers, you can put them in the riser bag, and I used to do that. Now, I don't really, um, they don't really get dinged up or anything. And I just slot them in, just like this. And this is pretty much what it looks like. And the lid closes without even putting any pressure on it. So that's two whole bows, stabilizers, sights, tripod with a pistol grip, large spotting scope, angel quiver, Accessories, tools, toolbox. I still have room for rain jackets, uh, rain stuff, clothes. I can put socks and underwear. Usually I put my carry on, all of my uh, bathroom stuff, the deodorant and shaving and stuff. I just put it in. But uh, as you can see, my spotting scope isn't small. It's fairly large and it still all fits in. So I hope this helped. Thanks for watching and uh, let me know if you have any questions.